Come now, let me tell you a parable. A stranger shows up at your door, and he knocks at the door. You open, and it's Jesus. You talk with him at the door, and he asks, could I come in? You hesitate, but you finally let him in, looking around the room, wondering, will he approve of your house? Will he approve of you? You sit down in the room briefly, and you point out the praying hands on the wall, pictures of Jesus even. And you go to reach for a Bible. And you brush off the dust, feeling embarrassed. To hide your embarrassment, you change the subject and you offer him to come into the kitchen for a cup of coffee. Feeling a little more relaxed, you get into general conversation. He sees your cellar door and he asks, what's down there? You reply, oh, you, you don't want to go down there. He observes that the door is locked or even nailed shut and says, whatever is down there must be something rather scary. And you once again reply, you don't want to go down there. Jesus asks, do you mind if I take a look? You now stand in front of the door, which now is beginning to swell as if something were trying to get out. Yes. Why is the door swelling? You reply, believe me, you don't want to know. I opened this door once and what came up out of that basement scared the hell out of me and my friends. I slammed it shut and have never opened it since. Jesus now gets bold and says to you, I know what's down there. And I've had dealt with this before. Let me open it. I won't judge you for anything that comes up out of that basement. By this time, whatever's down there is banging on the door, screaming, Son of God, what do we have to do with you? You look at him in horror. He gently moves you aside and opens the door. Spiders and snakes come rushing out, all screaming obscenities, thoughts and feelings of hidden matters long buried and forgotten of you. Things denied most of your life. Things hidden from view of judgmental eyes, eyes of your accusers. Jesus doesn't judge. Jesus doesn't condemn. He doesn't even look shocked. It is as if he knew what was down there all along. He replaces the burned out ball, grabs a broom and dustpan and starts doing work with the assistant of his helper, calling him the Holy Spirit, holy and that he removes all that is unholy, cleaning up all the debris, cutting a path, clearing the air and preparing a place in the presence of what once were your enemies now removed. He fills your place with light and things of beauty, taking old images off the walls and reveals that the walls are transparent and that this space is really bigger than you thought. It becomes the King of God in you.
once plot now open to you a parable but a truth Jesus desires he knocks at our door we let him into just certain areas of our house but there's an area that he wishes to come and dwell there in you your deepest heart the subconscious basement he wants to turn on the lights he wants to clean your heart and reveal to you that this whole microcosmic kingdom of God is locked up in you waiting to be revealed